Good, so I'm pleased I've got this at last. Got it from Wordery. The Wordery people. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't often read novels. There we go. Close up. Right, are we on? Oh, he started now. Good. Um, I'm going to unbox. Oh, I can see we need the light on. So hang on now. Right. Oh, things are full. Right, said Fred. Right. I'm going to unbox our girl here. So let's get started and I'm going to unbox Pommy because I've got two of her as I've said. So, yeah, so, oh, it seems like they're going to be quite quite easy to unbox. Hopefully slide my finger in under there like so. Oh, that's good then. We've got a certain amount of sellotape around the edges so... I'm going to have to, someone's put sellotape around the edges. I don't quite know why. I've got her from Tesco. I hope she's not second hand. I'm going to have to get the scissors for the sellotape. I've got these. I got from Poundland a while back. destroy the packaging too much. There's her. Oh, there's a little card thing there. I'll come out for me. There we go. What's this? There's like a little magazine. Pommy. I don't know what that's meant to be. Shop style. Or, um, is it like a credit card or something? It doesn't actually tell you anything on the back about what it's meant to be. Let's look at the gorgeousness. She only comes with one shopkin. It's got a little stand. That's a stand. Oh, that's quite nice. It's got... You see, it's got... I don't know if that's going to show up. I don't expect it's going to show anything. But, um... It's got a little comb. This is an adorable little shopkin. With a hole, so hopefully they'll stand on the. No, it hasn't got a. Well, that's a shame. It hasn't got a. Some some of the stands with the shop piece, they have a plug to put the shopkin on, but not this time, I'm afraid. Got elastic. Got elastic round her, holding her in. Right, there we go. That's only my... What's this? This is only my third shoppy that I'm in, that I've duplicated. The only other shoppy I've got out of her box is Daisy Petals, who's lost over there somewhere against my wall. But, um, so yeah, there's little Pommy. I must take one of the Sara Sushis out one day, because I have two of those. So Pommy has her hair in pigtails at the back. Look how adorbs. I didn't know she was like that. That's so sweet. And it's got like um I wish I really I wish really I had two pop popettes. I was calling her I couldn't think of the name. The one the first ever shop shoppy doll I bought in the entertainer when I went in really to get the pink one, a name I can't even remember now with the long pink hair. It'd have come to me. But then I saw Poppet and I thought, oh, she looks so adorable with that sort of slight curly sort of popcorn type hair. So any hair's little Pommy. She is so gorgeous. The colour scheme and I like her outfit and I love her face. Such a sweet little dolly. 
And there's something else I wanted to show you as well. Um, oh, I was pleased I got the book that I wanted. It came ever so quickly from the wordery. Convenience store woman. I'm that. I read a bit of it at, at night. I used to be up all night online and that. Or do what? I, I try to get to bed at night now. So if I get into bed like about two in the morning, you know, I think I'm. That's done quite well for me. And um, so yeah, you've seen the Shopkin. It looks like it should be scented, but of course it's not. But I've got something over here that is. It's not meant to be, but it just is. Oh, what's happening? The monitor's fallen over. That's what's happened. The monitor fallen over because everything's on the bed, you see. And then, of course, because it's on the bed, things are wobbly. I wanted to show you these. I know I've shown them before in a former video, but they were at my friend's house mouldering away. And my mother had these, and I, these are little things that, oh, they're ever so old, about, I don't know how, how old, I think these were made in the 1950s. And, uh, uh, I, tell you, I don't know where she got them from, but um, they were always looked after in good condition, and uh, they're stifes, sty this is a stife lion. And the poor little tiger was in somewhat bad condition, I'm afraid. It, it, something had got to it, and he eaten loads of its fur off there. It's like a little tiger cub. His eyes glow in the dark. That's so sweet. It smells like essential oils that I'd put on in my friend's house. He was fine. When I, about six years ago, I believe, he was in, they were in perfect condition. And to try and it, the mice and the rats that sort of running riot around areas of my friend's house and the moths, I'd not touched this at all. So I'm just a former protected, I mean, to further protected, I'd put essential oils, I, a, a peppermint, which they hate, and other essential oils. And then in six years, the mice had obviously gone in there because the mice had come back into it. And, and I think they're, I think they're all fit. Wood mice, furred mice, have got into his house. I mean, I've had one, you know, sort of mice problem here, but I've got one of these, and uh, they don't like it. It sends out. So you mustn't have these if you've got any pet rodents. Um, hang on, why is it that? Yeah, he, like, he lit up then. And because um, there's, you know, I was thinking about getting some rats, but no, I couldn't. Not with those in the house. And uh, but my friend in um. London, he's had problems with mice as well in his flat, so they said, oh, it must be a house mice that is, isn't it? They're supposed to be endangered now. Anyway, this little giraffe was also with it. He's not a stife. Oh, the li little tiger is a stife, by the way. He's a little stife. I wish I could show you how his eyes glow in the dark. But this one, his head needs to be fixed on properly, because you wind him up, but he no longer works. His operation doesn't work anymore. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I've put him next to my heater to dry him out a bit. He's one. Of, this is a German make. It's it's written on there, West Germany. Of course, it's not called West Germany anymore, is it? It's just Germany. Anyhow, I've waffled not long enough. Let's, Tommy can sign off for now. And um, if I add to this little vlog for the rest of the week, we'll see. If I, I might stop doing the ones when I'm out and about in Starbucks. I mean, how many times do you have to see a, pile, a coffee cup piled up with cream on top and then cinnamon put on? And uh, some people may like to see it every week to see how the slight variation in differences. But um, I'm sure it's just too much repetition of the same thing. So I may stop doing that. For, for, I, I'll do it for myself, but I might stop putting them in the vlogs on YouTube. I must say, I'm very upset at what Google has done, taking away the Google Plus. I mean, I never wanted Google Plus in the first place. It was forced upon me. And when I had, when I agreed to have it, have it, all my nice comments I'd left for people, nice, encouraging, supportive comments on pe people's videos that I'd liked, they all disappeared. All my presence on YouTube had disappeared. 
So I reverted back to not being part of Google+. Plus. But unfortunately, in time, it meant you could no longer leave any comments on YouTube. So I had two channels at the time, one to comment and like and whatever, and one to... Um, I can't remember what exact the difference was now, but I had anyhow, I ended up with, when I had no choice but to have Google+, Plus, all my nice comments disappeared, and that was my original channel, which um, I've still got the profile picture of the lovely daisies. Those beautiful daisies were providing nectar for honeybees, they were all buzzing around them, I thought, don't those daisies look lovely, in the front garden of a house near my friend, and I thought, I'll go along there the next day and, um, and take... Uh, uh, some pictures of them. The next day there was a digger in the garden, nearly all the daisies were gone and then third, the day after the, all the daisies had been dug up and the garden's just covered in gravel now and there's not even a car in there, it's not even for that because there's a wall, so depressing. But anyway, I didn't want Google+, Plus. it was forced on me but in time I got to like it, I started to use it quite a lot recently. I didn't use it on this channel apart from to have my profile picture that I use on there which came from a lip gloss cart, naturally, which was free with a kids' magazine. <laughs> Useless of information. And I, on my, um, oh dear, on my, again, anime channel, I had something, on, uh, a picture on there of Matt Nikoko Black. But on my original channel, I'd used it quite a lot recently and I'd got to really like Google+. And as soon as I started to like it, they're taking it away and... And the, the, the other channels, it's disappeared completely from now. I haven't got it. But it's still there on my original channel. But how much longer it will be for, I don't know. Apparently it's because of the security breach. When people's it, um, details <coughs> were leaked. But, you know, the same thing happened to eBay and the same thing happened to Facebook. But they're still going. So I force Google Plus onto everyone and then, you know, start to like it and then they take it away. I don't know. Anyway, little tiger saying, be quiet now. He said, people aren't interested. They're not interested. They don't care. Nobody cares about anything much anymore, only if it affects them personally. You should know that by now. And I'm very upset to hear about that power station. There's a power station in Foley. I've never been there myself. But the, it's a great big power station chimney. I've watched the videos of it, and, and they're, they're planning to demolish it, and, it, oh, yeah, don't get me started on that. I'm so upset by that as well. I just hope that it could, that decision can be overturned. We've lost so much. Oh. And as the cafe, I'm having an all-day breakfast toasty, a small grey tea, and uh, that's the meal. At least I get the meal. It depends on the large scale here. Got another palmetto tree from Asda. I couldn't resist. I want one I can under um, take out of the box. And I've got some real another dolly day today. This one's come from America now. Don't like those shoes. Don't like the top. I like the pattern on it, or the unicorn, but uh, that's about all. She's a pretty dolly, like they all are. I'll look at her later. Lovely hair this dolly's got. Right, let's try this in a minute. Um... Oh, I'm going to put the light on. I'm going to put the light on. Sorry for fans of seeing me go over to put the light on. <laughs> I'm just trying to save time here. I don't think it's necessary. Oh, look, we can see Beekeeper Barbie over there in the corner and next to her nice aqua-coloured beehive. I've got a new dolly. She arrived from America yesterday. Look at the hair. People are saying, and, and look, how big the pictures are on the back of the box compared to, well, I haven't got one. I have I have got, yeah. Look how 
big the pictures are on the back of the box compared to the UK ones. Look, the top ones, how small they are. So I wish that um, Mattel would be consistent and make the ones in the UK bigger as well to look at. But um, everyone's raving about this dolly because of her lovely long hair. And um, she, it's true, it is lovely, but it's not, you know, we have, um, here's uh, Steffi Love, I think I've, na oh, I did name, I've named her Alice. I know my doll, my skipper doll, Susie, with the pink hair streak, she goes into Alice mode, but I thought, okay, I like, I've not got a dolly called Alice, so she's, this one is Alice properly. So when Susie goes into Alice mode, that's a different thing altogether, and that's for Dolly Stories, which is going to be on my doll channel whenever I get around to that. So, Anyhow, here's like a typical length Barbie hair. Here's Frankie here. And I couldn't find the Dolly that I bought with her from Lidl a few weeks back, but with a long, very long pink hair, who I've named Tressel. I was laying in bed earlier. I got woken up early by the dreadful neighbour next door. <sighs> He kept me up half the night with his television on loud. It kept me awake. And um, and then he was up about quarter to seven this morning, crashes out of his room, and it sleeps in the room next, adjoining my bedroom. He's got a massive television attached to the wall. Oh, it's so annoying. Anyhow, look, um, talking about very long hair on dollies, here's my um, Lumi. He's called Lumi. He's a the male version of Ken from the Genie dolls. Um, look how long his hair is, and it grows in the dark as well. Lovely. So, um, who's got the longest hair? That's about the. I think it's about the. His is just slightly longer there, and uh, this. Yeah, hers is the longest. She's a. Steffi Love doll, obviously. But anyhow, this is this one. I'm trying to think of a name for her, because she only came yesterday. I don't like the top. I like the pattern on it. I like the unicorn bit on there. You can just see. But I don't like that. I don't like those loose t-shirt tops. Very unflattering. And I cannot stand those horrible shoes. She's got her sunglasses on top of her head, which I may take off and put on her face, so I might leave them there for now. We'll see. But she's a pretty dolly. And, um, yeah, we've got... I went into Morrison's and, um... Got a few things, cla bleh, clothes from the nutmeg section, but before that I went to Asda and I got another palmella tree, because I'm going to open this one. I'll... Well, actually, this one was a lot rather easier to open. I just... That is recording, and I thought I'd stopped it, but it's recording anyway. There's like a little magazine thing you get with it. And uh, she's got her stand. She's got her comb. There's that little Shopkin. Doesn't tell you what the Shopkin is called. It hasn't got a name. So they've stopped giving the Shopkins names. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that, her sunglasses are staying in the box as she's coming out. Oh, she's got elastic round her, holding her in. Oh, dear. Hang on a moment. Right, there she is, all twisted round the wrong way. She's got a lot of plastic stuck round her. Her glasses, her glasses and her shoes have stayed in the box. So can we get those out? They're stuck in the box as the plastic. Oh, don't I? Oh, the Come on, Mattel is like trying to catch up now and stopping having all these little plastic things and everything. I know they, those sort of things come in handy to keep shoes and that on, but, you know, come on, it's time Moose Toys caught up as well. So I wish... Mattel, though, would do a Barbie with hair this colour. I love this green. 
she got a bold patch oh dear she's got a bold patch that's not very good but um so I, I because I decide I like certain of them I wonder if I've put that on the right way or whether it goes this this away is it that way I think that's right um I want certain ones that I can take out of the box I wish I'd bought two of pineapple lily now I think we've got those on the wrong way round which would be very typical for me wouldn't it I think the palm tree decoration is on the outside oh come on get your shoe on girl girl oh boy if if you prefer I really don't mind what you want to call yourself um but Look, she's got a bold patch. Not happy about that. Um, so that there's her shoes. She got a sarong on. Um, sorry, my video is not to the standard of Cookie Swirl, but please bear in mind she's no doubt using state-of-the-art equipment and uh, and. Uh, yeah, anyhow, let's put these sunglasses on her to see. I don't think she can look very nice with them on. I'd probably prefer her without them. But they're just meant to be decoration for her head, I think, aren't they? Yeah, they're not going to look good on her. Put them on top of... I don't want to stay... This is the trouble with the shoppy dolls, I find. Their, th their decoration, their headgear, never wants to stay in place. This is the problem I had with daisy petals. Anyhow, that's okay. Let's get her stand out and fix her on it. Unfortunately, you cannot fix the Shopkins on it. There we are. There she is on her stand. She's so cute. I love the hair colour. I love that colour hair. Oh. I'm going to keep her back in her box for now, but... And the Shopkins is wearing sunglasses as well. <laughs> Look, you see? Hey. A funny hand position. She could be like, yay. But she's waving as well. And saying, hey. Um, I want to get the, uh, the peach, somebody peaches. Anyhow, 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 moving on. Moving on, there's no further to do. I like this bag I got from, I even noticed the carrier bags that the stores get, um, you have to buy. And uh, I like this, the tractor. The red tractor. Oh, I got these from a co-op. I went into a co-op, got those mints. And I got those from the co-op as well, these Reese's rounds. And they're lovely, peanut butter. And I got a spare bag. I always need bags. I like the tractor on that. Well, isn't that nice? Well, I think so. Anyway, anyhow, anyhow. Clothes haul from Morrison's. A skirt. This was reduced. It's like about knee length. It's not my sort of thing, really, but I, I held it against me and it looked okay. I'm not altogether sure I didn't buy one of these a while back. I'm notorious for buying things twice without realising. But uh, it's quite nice. You can see it's quite nice. It's uh, Is it blanking everything out? It usually does when I use a dark colour. It's got that pink. And uh, I've got this one, which was reduced in the sale. I like the colour. I don't often wear things like that, but I thought well, I'll get something a little different for a change. And I got this from Morrison's as well. I thought that was rather nice. Short sleeves. Top. And oh, I got two tops from Asda. They should have been included first. I'm sure I've already got these, these colours. Bought them before, but if, you know, if the weather gets warm again soon, we should need them and, um... And I can't actually find anything for now because it's got dolls and uh, jump, winter jumpers all over everything. And uh, 
this is that sort of beigey colour I like. It's coming off a sort of pink, slightly pinkish, but it's actually, it is, and it's beige. Actually, it looks similar, looks the same colour to that under this light, and it should look true because it's a daylight bulb. But it is meant to be beige, but it's sort of coming across as a dusky pink, which is okay either way, and that rhymes. been abandoned with a Pokemon in it but he hasn't. He has not. Holly leaves up there. Right, I think now I've got a cushion for my friend. The house I'm currently in. I got this from I would have got a pink one for myself, but I got this from Pound Stretcher. It's not a bit bad, is it? He's always been on about the hard chair, yes, the hard chair, yes, to sit on. So it's quite nice, it's soft. This looks rather nice, dark, ch dark chocolate almond mint. Here's some of them and my new girls. I can't see her freckles, they don't really show up very much, not in this light. And uh, there's this one. Pretty face. Oh, oh, well, I think about the outfit. I should do an unboxing of this pretty girl when I get home. I've seen those shoes that she got on so many times. I wasn't going to get this one, but so pleased I did. I'm so glad I've got her. I think she's so pretty. Very pretty. Not my friend's house here. Where's <laughs> the other one? Oh, be quiet, computer. I'm trying to do everything at once here. That's pretty. Oh, it blanks her out though, doesn't it? in the morning. 